Fortnite squad. Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So considering now being a very strange day, the one year anniversary of Season 4 since its release, literally a year since then, and also the week countdown 7 days until the release of Season 9, I figured today that we go over all the details or all the details that are yet to come and basically go over when we're going to be seeing them regarding the newest seasonal trailer being the Season 9 trailer in Fortnite. Obviously the Season 9 trailer won't be released until May 9th as the battle pass timer states currently but the overtime challenges may tick over that clock and obviously extend season 8. Either way with that said though there's things happening in game right now that ultimately are shaping and preparing the map to basically show an event or prepare an event to occur or happen in the season 9 trailer and we're going to be going over all the details we've been revealed towards so far pointing towards this big event that's going to be showcased like we see every season a natural disaster or newly implemented locations within the season 9 trailer and all also details that we're going to be literally revealed towards by Epic Games officially before the Season 9 release or launch of the trailer. With that said and surprisingly us having a lot of leads or details to explain about or regarding the Season 9 trailer, make sure you're sticking around and watching the full video because by the end of it you'll have a good understanding and full insight of what to expect in terms of what's going to be revealed or unfold within the Season 9 trailer. Very quickly before we get into any of those details however I'd quickly like to announce that we're currently running until May 20th on the channel a Season 9 battle bundle giveaway. This includes the Season 9 Battle Pass for completely free and additional boost of extra 25 tiers to start you out. Here's how you guys can enter for a chance to win. All you need to do to enter is leave a like in today's video, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload when I upload whatever I upload, follow my Twitter in the description down below and actively use my creator code on screen right now and will remain on screen in the top left hand corner throughout this video's duration. Also make sure you're staying active on the channel considering the fact that this will increase your odds of winning and this will prove to me who wants the battle bundle out of everybody who's entered the very most. Considering we covered in yesterday's video the fact that the Season 9 Battle Pass will be earnable in the overtime challenges for free, if you guys didn't know that, well now you know now, and if you happen to win this giveaway and already have earned the free Season 9 Battle Pass, I'll reacquaint you with the compensated amount of V-Bucks of which it would traditionally cost to purchase the battle bundle, being 2,800 V-Bucks. Anyways, with all that out of the way now, let's get into talking about and making a start on these details that ultimately link in with each other and point towards what's going to be going down or included within the Fortnite Season 9 trailer, officially published by Epic Games themselves. The very first and most important thing to note when discussing a next seasonal trailer for the world of Fortnite Battle Royale anyways is the fact that they go by a particular formula when transitioning from season to season with the map changes made and also what events or natural disasters are showcased within that next seasonal trailer. This so-called formula has been around for many seasons and I'm going to basically explain what it is now and prove to you that it's been something that Fortnite have abided by ever since Season 4. So, what did we see in Season 4 that ultimately signified, teases and implied the changes being made progressing into Season 5? Well, this rocket launch event called the Blastoff event occurred towards the end of Season 4 and ever since then we've seen an in-game live event occur every season towards the end if not the mid-region of that particular season, implying what's going to be coming in the next season very subtly. Obviously, upon this rocket launch in Season 4, it opened interdimensional portals that we'd never seen before in the sky called rifts. Ever since then we've never looked back and always seen an implementation of rift usage whether it's one spawned in randomly on the map or from using the rift to go. From this rocket in season 4 ultimately opening these rift interdimensional portals in the Fortnite Battle Royale realm in particular areas of which was going to be changed on the map to particular different named locations such as the transition from Moisty Mire to Paradise Palms we had pulled through from these other locations in different universes from Paradise Palms in Moisty Mire case this carriage and obviously this is still something in this name location Paradise Palms of which we see today initially implemented at the start of season 5. In season 5 around midway through for the live event starting anyways Kevin the Cube spawned in on the outskirts of Paradise Palms on this hill that's now seemingly like a sun clock or something like that with many 
Sydney, abandoned cars scattered around it. It then made its way all the way to Loot Lake, sinking in and creating a giant bounce pad of the lake itself, then eventually shown after that in the Season 6 trailer was basically another Kevin the Cube event, hoisting up this middle island at Loot Lake and making it basically float in the air, changing Loot Lake into Leaky Lake. The live event in Season 6 was to do with Kevin the Cube exploding and reverting Leaky Lake back to Loot Lake with these cube shards left in the middle. Towards the end of Season 6, however, a close approach of a seemingly hostile fog cloud made an appearance closer and closer, as just mentioned, day by day as we crept close towards the release of Season 7 to the Battle Royale realm eventually revealing itself to be an iceberg and obviously and inevitably we predicted it would collide with the map. As teased at the end of Season 6, this literally happened in the Season 7 trailer. Upon Season 7 launching and progressing to around halfway through, we saw the occurrence of the Ice Storm event where the Ice King basically tried to engulf the map in snow, creating it overall his realm or kingdom to himself, which obviously as we see today didn't work, it failed and ultimately it came to a demise this Ice Kingdom. Toward the end of this season, however, upon the release of the prisoner skin, ultimately reaching his max potential and final form, we saw earthquakes basically occur around the map creating, you know, cracks in the ground or separating conjoinment of named locations like this bridge here which basically cracked from these earthquakes occurring and obviously many people predicted with the occurrence of earthquakes that we'd either be seeing a giant one in the season 8 trailer or the appearance of a volcanic eruption or sort of volcano. We now know upon the launch of season 8 that this was basically a a volcano sprouting out from underneath the ground in the Whaling Woods vicinity that once was, creating this kind of tropical section of the map that we now know in Season 8 to be the Lazy Lagoon Sunny Step region. And obviously with the implementation of a volcano with the current scenario or situation we're in now, we're expecting it to inevitably erupt because volcanoes do that unless they're inactive and as we can clearly see at the bottom of this flying in in this kind of air tunnel or air vent, this particular volcano is certainly not inactive. Many of you will be left sat there now wondering why I've just explained all of that. Well, leading back to what I traditionally said before explaining all that, this fortnight formula it basically consists of a live event occurring, teasing the map changes showcased within that next seasonal trailer, and then that unfolding within that particular next allocated seasonal trailer. For example, I mentioned all of them there, but a prime example, the best one in my opinion, would be the transition of Season 6 to Season 7, the close approach of this iceberg in the final days of Season 6, and the inevitable unfold of these events and this collision occurring in the Season 7 trailer. The reason I use this formula in explaining all formats of seasonal progression ever since it was firstly implemented in Season 4 is because of the fact then you guys can have a thorough understanding and predominantly a trust in the fact that Fortnite are not going to dismantle this formula and not use it for Season 8 progressing into Season 9. So with that said, applying this formula to Season 8 right now, what are we seeing? Well obviously we need to see the developments made after the Nexus event, which is going to be an event where we see items that are vaulted appear from this vault at Loot Lake, which is very seemingly futuristic, and we'll be able to vote what comes back and stays remaining out of this vault or what goes and stays in it forever. The more pinnacle map change ultimately occurring live right now is the progressive eruption or the progressive kind of disturbance of the volcano on the map. We first got proven to the fact that this volcano is very much so awake upon the landing of the first rune in this loot lake vault. There seemed to be a sprout or kind of linear line in the sky of an ash cloud coming out of the volcano and ever since then it's grew more ferocious and more active by the day, even now to the point at the time of me recording this video sprouting out lava, meaning that it's only inevitably a certain amount of time before it fully erupts and destroys some named locations or POIs on the map. All thanks to data miners doing their job and reviewing the fresh files or trying to implement them into the game as soon as Epic actually, you know, put them into the game's files or code in, a particular data miner to be exact called Fortori was able to drag what was in the game's files and physically show what they meant or what their purpose was within the game. This was the destruction of Tilted Towers from, you know, the hands of the volcano anyways, metaphorically, and also the destruction of Retail Row. Considering this is already in the game's files and he was able to implement it physically within the game, this will not be showcased in the Season 9 trailer, so ultimately here with the Nexus event yet to occur and the volcanic eruption also yet to occur, and we've only got 7 days left on the Battle Pass timer ending for Season 8, I believe Epic Games upon these live events occurring has a bigger plan connecting these two live events together. They've already implied that these two factors are linked 
point considering the fact we saw the close approach of the first rune and upon it sitting in this loot lake kind of vault of where it was meant to sit, the ash cloud immediately started or sprouted out of the volcano. Epic Games also like to off throw us in terms of predicting what's going down with the storyline or what is going to happen and because of that, since the volcano right now is sprouting out lava, inevitably going to erupt literally almost physically shown, I very highly doubt that this will be the main prospect included throughout the Season 9 trailer. Instead, like I just mentioned, it will be something very underlying that we could have predicted if we followed the clues in a different manner. Either way, we'll find out or figure it out in the upcoming days because Fortnite on their official Twitter Days prior to the release of the next season always release teasers and referring back to the release or the upcoming approach of season 8 with the teasers implying what was going to be included throughout this season we saw firstly for the first teaser this pirate hook, secondly this serpent, thirdly the tier 98 skin I believe it was, anyways it's the master key skin with a mask and also the fourth teaser, the final one being the Peely skin but upon forming all these together to create a bigger picture, all these small hints we saw a formation in the centre of all four images, a volcano and as you guys know this is the main seasonal prospect or map change for season 8. Also without mentioning the fact that this was included too in the season 8 trailer, this volcano. With the community constantly being alert and updating everything happening, literally big or small within the game right now leading into Season 9 and with these seasonal trailer teasers releasing I definitely think upon these being revealed we will know or have a clearer understanding of how Season 9 is going to start or what is going to unfold event wise in the Season 9 trailer. It's only a matter of days until this happens considering the fact like I've mentioned throughout this video on the Battle Pass timer we're only 7 days away from this literally unfolding. Anyways with that said that's all the details, information, rumours and leaks we have until the release of Season 9's trailer regarding the Season 9 trailer itself. If you enjoyed today's video I want to keep referring back to it because I know we went very in depth in explaining literally everything regarding the progression of Fortnite from season to season and how the formula works, then make sure you're leaving a like on today's video as then it'll be saved in a like playlist if you want to keep referring back to it and it'll be easier to access. If you also want to be updated as soon as I post those season 9 news and information videos then make sure you turn on the post notification bell next to my name as soon as you've subscribed when you've subscribed. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, the support on the channel overall too has been tremendous as of recently, we've literally just surpassed 170,000 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching, and I'm out. Peace.